In this video, you're going to learn how to make a shell mobile. Let's get started. To get started, you have a stick, some string, some seashells with some holes in them, beads, oops, and some fun metal beads. Unraveling your string. You want some for the top of your mobile. So that's what I'm gonna do first. I'm gonna get the length that I, how long I want this to be after I tie it. And I think it's easiest to tie it when you're completely done. So I'm just going to trim this. I'm gonna set this off to the side, move all of these beads. And now I wanna think about the length of the string and how many rows I want of beads. So whatever length you want it to be, you're going to double it. So if I want it to be this long, I'm going to make it twice as long because you're tying it. And if you want different lengths, so I want this one to be this long, I want the other side to be the same as that side. And then I'm gonna do one more in the middle and I want this one to be longer. So I think I want it, I know it's going off the, the table so you can't see it, but I'm gonna make it just a little bit longer than the other two and then going to cut it. And you will end up cutting some of it after as well. Keep in mind, it's going to be shorter when you're done as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this and I'm going to knot it and, boop, and then I'll double knot it. So how you make a knot is you cross it and you make a circle and then you take one side, you want it to go through that circle and pull it through. There we go. So I have the loop-de-loop -loop, and then I'm just going to knot this one again, just to remind you how to do this. So you go like make a cross, you make a little, you cross the strings, and then in the circle, you bring that through, tighten it up, do that again, cross the strings, bring one through, just going through that loop-de-loop, -loop and tighten. We're just going over that multiple times because you're going to have to know how to do that because you're going to tie all of these together. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to start by placing where I want the shells to go. And you can add multiple beads to one spot and it doesn't have to be completely all the same, but I kind of like these two looking similar on the sides. I'm trying to be very thoughtful about where I'm putting the beads. And you want some leftover at the end. See how there's some leftover on the bottom. It's not going completely to the end. Now that I have the sides done, I'm going to tie them. So what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna set these off to the side in the order that I want them. And I'm gonna set the middle off to the side a little bit further away so I don't get them confused. And then I'm gonna start tying them. So one way that you can tie these is by bringing both of them through the hole and then making a knot. And how you make that knot is you go, you make a little loop like this, and then you bring that through. And then you tighten it, and then I can place that on the front there. I'll do it to this side and I'll do it again. You take this and I wanna go down through this way so the knot's on the, on the bottom here. And I wanna make a loop with both of these and then go around and bring it through. I want to just put another knot here so nothing goes above it. Also, I just kinda like the, the, the knot look. So I'm just gonna put another knot here and tighten it up. Kind of move where you want the knot to be. Perfect. Now on to the next knot. What you can do is we can do the knot that we did earlier. So we can go put this through, bring it where you want it. And then you can take these two, cross them like we did earlier, and then just bring one through the loop, tighten it, and do it again. So now what you're gonna do is I'm just gonna put another knot in here, just that twisty knot with both of them together and just bring it up. Let's bring both of those back together. And now I'm gonna do the same thing for this one. Just go, bring this through. Doesn't look like it wants to go through. So I'm gonna Twist, twist, twist. There we go. Then we're gonna go and cross, bring that through the loop and cross or tighten it. Then 
do another one. Awesome. So now I'm going to go through and I'm going to speed up this video a little bit so you can see me working on it. And I'm going to go from side to side to kind of keep it a little bit even. Now that I have the sides done, now I can focus on the middle a little bit more. Something I want to point out is how I did these. First thing you want to do is not the top of it where you want it to start. Knotting the top of it is um, helpful so it doesn't move around quite as much. And then you take one side and put it into the circle. And then you take the other string and you make it go out of the circle. So then they cross in the middle there and then you can just knot the end. Push it up, tighten it, and then you have this nifty little thing. So now I'm gonna go and I'm going to finish this and I can't wait to show you what it looks like when it's done. And now to add the string to the top. You can just take it, cross it, tighten it, cross it, loop it, tighten it, and then do the same thing to the other side. Loop it, bring it through, tighten it, cross it, bring it through. Yay! And then I'm going to knot the extras. And then I want to put a shell right in the middle. And you can also add shells to the top if you would like. But I just wanna add one to the middle for when it's hanging. Then it can just kinda hang down right here. I wanna put, this one's pretty. I'm gonna put this one on here. All right, and there you have it.